MCTV is on the air. Good morning, Huskies. Today is Thursday, April 15th, and day two of the six-day cycle. Please rise for our national anthem and the pledge to the flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Attention seniors, the graduation announcements and accessories that you ordered are here. On Wednesday, April 21st, Jostens will be here during lunches in the cafeteria. If you will not be in school on the 21st, please have a friend pick up your order. Cap and gowns will be arriving at a later date. If any student still needs to order the school's official graduation announcement, please see the Jostens rep for details. Attention all art club members. Our next after school meeting is scheduled for next Thursday, April 22nd, after school from 315 to 415. Space is limited, so you must sign up in Mrs. Hubley's room. We will be creating clay poppy flowers for your Memorial Day project. Attention students, at this time there are exactly 139 yearbooks left to purchase. They are available on a first come, first serve basis. The last day to order a yearbook online is this Thursday, April 15th. After that, you will need to purchase any remaining books at the school. Order forms are available in the office, room B214, or room A322. Students, don't forget to sign up for this year's prom. The prom is May 15th from 7 to 10.30 p.m. at Brookmere Estates in Belleville. Tickets are $30 per person or $60 per couple. You must sign up and RSVP with payment no later than Friday, April 30th, and masks are also required. Speaking of the prom, seniors, vote for this year's prom king and queen by the end of the day, Friday, April 23rd. Your English teacher should have the link to the Google voting form posted on Google Classroom. You will write in the name of one senior boy and one senior girl. The winners will be announced at prom. Concert choir lessons today are... Period 1, Lillian Alsh and Emily Conaway. Period 2, Lily Powell and Luke Leiter. Period 5, Allison Slater. Period 6, Melissa McDormand, Trista Peck, Jay Garman, and Tevlin Renninger. The Rose Lollipop sale is ending early because we completely sold out. Thank you all for the support, and we raised $210 for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Attention students, there will be a dodgeball tournament this Saturday, April 17th at Body and Soul Community Center to raise money for the Tri-County Drug and Alcohol Center. To register, see Bryce Dobson or Colby Baldorf. Games will run from 12 to 3 p.m. this Saturday. Check it out, seniors. Deadlines for local scholarships are approaching quickly. For example, the C. Ray Price Scholarship is given in memory of former MCSD business manager, Mr. C. Ray Price. Two $1,100 scholarships are awarded each year. The application deadline is one week from today. The scholarships are for students going on to major in business and who have high academic achievement. This scholarship and many more are available on the Guidance Office Google Classroom and in the Guidance Office. Our track and field team has a home meet today. Here's Maddie. Yesterday at MC Sports, our boys tennis team traveled to Carlisle and lost by a 4-1 final score. Our lone win was in doubles play as the team of Jaron Yoder and Owen Shuey were victorious. And boys lacrosse was also defeated on the road at Sealands Grove. Today at MC Sports, track and field is at home facing Central Dolphin and is dismissed at 2.45. Baseball is away at Central Dolphin and will be dismissed at 1.30. And softball is at home hosting Central Dolphin and is dismissed at 2.30. That's sports. Lydia, what's for lunch? In the Husky line, French toast sticks with sausage patties, tri-taters, baby carrots, and milk. And then the griller, cheeseburger, or grilled chicken sandwich. 
That's all for the morning show. I'm Trent, and she's Lydia. Have a great day. Have a husky day.